Hey, it's Steve and welcome back to my shop. Now, if you don't know who Justin Tan is, I'll tell you. Justin Tan was one of the founders of Ortur Laser and we all know them, they've been around forever and they've created some fantastic lasers. Now, Justin has decided to create a new laser company and it's called Algo Laser. And maybe you haven't heard of them, but I can assure you, you're going to hear about them a lot more in the future. They built this, this is the Algo Laser Delta and there is technology in this laser that makes this amazing. This is a 20 watt laser and it can do a lot of things that a 33 watt laser can do and I'm gonna show you, so let's get started. Now the first thing you're gonna notice when you open the box for the Algo Laser Delta is that it's almost entirely assembled. You can see the photo here. Uh, you pull the frame out along with the gantry and the laser module, it's all pre-wired and uh, you put four screws, two on each side of the gantry, plus a tensioning screw, put the laser module on, and you're pretty much ready to go. And that's a really nice touch. It's the second laser I've seen recently that does this, and I hope laser manufacturers, uh, more and more of them take this approach because it makes a real difference when you're when in that first experience. Uh, all of the cabling, cabling is on the end, so it's out of the way. Uh, really, really nice control here on the front panel. Uh, you might actually want to use this rather than being connected all the time, and I'll explain that. I'll talk a bit about the emergency stop and key later. 2020 aluminum extrusion rails, but the rollers here are nylon rather than polycarbonate, so they'll last a lot longer. The laser head itself uh, has integrated air right down through the through the nozzle and the best focusing mechanism I've ever seen. Uh, cable handling here likewise is the best I've ever seen and you get a pump of course. Now unlike a lot of lasers, uh, you get uh, an electronic control of the speed of the pump or the airflow and also the laser itself will automatically control the airflow. So if you're cutting, you'll get a lot more airflow than if you're engraving. So really, really nice touches. Now, I mentioned this great front panel they have. You've got full control of all the settings, including software updates because it's got Wi-Fi connected. Uh, you can go out and search and it will install them automatically. Uh, full control of sounds and language and, and anything you can do on the front panel. Now, when you're ready to engrave, you go out to the top level and you hit the engrave button and you can choose from an external USB or the internal SD card. I chose the internal here and you can see when I pick a, a drawing, it's fully on the display and you hit the engrave button when you're ready to go. You can see the size and, and everything you need there for, for information. And when you're ready, you drop some material on your laser, focus it and push that start processing button and everything just works. It's it works amazingly well. Now, since I mentioned focus, the best focus ever, you have this spring loaded foot that comes down. You, you then spring down the arm and, and it will drop the laser head. You push the arm back up and lock it and then push this button on the side that releases the spring and brings the focus foot back up. And that's it. There's no reason why you'd ever want an autofocus with this laser. Now, still on the laser module, there's another nice feature, which is this removable shield. You just pop it off, it's held on by four magnets, do whatever you're gonna do, and then spring it back on. Now, low power lasers have had this feature forever, but high, higher power lasers, 20 watts and above, tended not to have this. So it's a really nice revisit of a feature that most people used to love. Now, the last innovation I wanna talk about in the laser module is something that Algo Laser calls cost technology. And I haven't heard any other laser manufacturer talking about this, so I think they have something special here. Now, cost technology does two things to the laser. First of all, it, it compresses the laser into an almost perfect one-to-one -one square, rather than being rectangular like most lasers. And that's really important for, for a couple of reasons, but most importantly, it, what it does is, is makes vertical cuts and horizontal cuts have the same thickness. So rather than having a wide kerf uh, going vertical and a, and a narrow kerf going horizontal, it's one-to-one. -one. And, and that's really important because it, it means light burn doesn't have to work so hard to calculate kerf adjustments if that's what you're using in, in light burn. The second thing that cost technology does is a dynamically adjust the beam size. And why that's important is because when you're engraving, you want a finer beam so that you can get that much better detail. So when the power is lower, it, it cr compresses the beam to much smaller down to as low as 0.05 by 0.06 millimeters. But when you're cutting, it broadens the beam out so that you can get a lot more power thrown down on the material for cutting. And what that allows this to do, among other things, is you can cut 0.1 millimeter stainless steel with this laser, which I think is fantastic. Uh, this will be the singular most important reason why you'll want to buy this laser over anything else. While I'm still in geek mode here, I want to talk a bit about the controller that's in the Delta. Uh, Unlike most lasers today, which have dual core 32-bit processors, the Delta has a four core processor, 
And in layman's terms, what that means is you're gonna get extra capability and everything is gonna go faster. So you saw the, the display there, very responsive, but it also provided capabilities that a lot of lasers don't have, like, like automatic firmware updates over Wi-Fi. And that's a result of having all this extra capability. More importantly, from your perspective, what it really means is things like file uploads are gonna be upwards of 200% faster. So rather than taking maybe three minutes to upload a file, if it's really big, it's gonna take 10 seconds and that's a huge a huge differentiator uh, compared to other lasers especially if you if you have a business and time is money before I dive into results, I want to walk through some of the safety features here. On the laser module, you have indicators for air assist, whether it's on or off, the lens, whether it's dirty or not, and flame detection, which is obvious. There's also the usual safety for vibration and, and tilt sensing. I mentioned the emergency stop switch and the key switch. The emergency stop switch here is really nice because it's lit. So if it isn't green, your laser's not going to work, and that's a really nice touch. Now it's time to look at some results and I've been trying to standardize my testing so I'm running exactly the same test on every laser. So I run a cut test, then I run an engraved test and finally a grayscale test and you can see what they look like here for the algo laser. And when I look at the results here, you can see the cut test worked remarkably well. It's basically at 600 millimeters a minute. It's cutting engraving from 5,000 to 15,000. Even down in the 10% range, you still get good, good coverage. And the grayscale test looks around 12,000 to 14,000 is kind of the ideal speed. And I use that to generate the image of the dog and it looked really nice. So I'm super pleased here, but I wanna push this a little bit more. So I wanted to test the maximum speed here. So this engraving of a coaster is about 75% power and 30,000 millimeters a, a minute, which is as fast as it goes. And you can see the output here looks, looks really awesome. Uh, I can't really complain, this is a great engraver. Then I wanted to push the cutting capability, so I chose this 29 millimeter piece of acrylic and set the laser to 100% power, 200 millimeters a minute, and 15 passes. It actually cut this in about 12 passes. Now this material is typically something you'd use a 30 or 40 watt laser for, so it cuts really well. And just to push this one last time, I chose this 17 millimeter thick piece of hardware store spruce. This is usually pretty ugly to cut, but I set the power to 100% and the speed to 1,000 millimeters a minute with 10 passes, and it just mulched right through this and cut a really nice clean cut. Now, I probably could have done this in one single pass, but I'm not a fan of just brutalizing a piece of wood. So, you know, I tend to go a little faster with, with more passes. It ends up taking about the same amount of time anyway, and you don't end up with all that charring at the end. All right, so I played with this laser for probably four or five days in my shop doing actual real project work, the kind of stuff I would do for a customer. And it performed flawlessly. This laser is spectacular, if is the only word I could really come up with. Uh, I love the fact that it's fully assembled. You can take it out of the box and, and get it running in five minutes. That's a real trend we need to be pushing manufacturers on because these things should be more like an appliance and less like a project. Uh, really, really good technology here. Uh, it's about time we started to see some innovation. This isn't just another laser that's been repackaged into a, a, a you know, a potentially prettier shape than the previous one. Uh, there's real meat here. The focus is the best focus I've ever seen. Uh, they apparently have a patent on this, so you're not likely to see this, this focus mechanism on other lasers, presumably unless they license it. Uh, that, that cost technology that, that shapes the beam and, and controls the, the beam size when depending on your power that's amazing and there's also a remote application i didn't talk about it but you can install a, a, their remote app on your phone and control this laser from that you get all the same control that you get from the front panel here or or from the the control mechanism in in lightburn um, it's there it works it works really well I, it's not my use case so i didn't install it on on my phone and finally, on the tech side, they have this thing called offline mode where you can select a single image and then replicate it across uh, multiple times. And then you can even go to another sheet. So it's actually a super cool feature. This is why you might want to just use the front panel for some things. The performance here is excellent. This laser cuts like a 33 watt laser, even though this one is only a 22 watt laser. Uh, I'll pop up the comparison of the cut test from the Acmer P2, which I did a couple of weeks ago. 
Uh, that's a 33 watt laser and you can see compared to the Delta here that this Delta can cut more, it can cut faster, uh, just all around a better laser, even though it's 30% less power than, than the Acma P2. Uh, I don't know how they do it, it's amazing. I hope that there is a, a future version of this laser with uh, at least a 33 watt, potentially a 40 watt laser with all this technology. I did, I don't know if you noticed that in the flyover, I did kind of take a snap of all the part numbers. Uh, for all the variants of this laser and there was a 40 watt laser there so cross your fingers that that one comes out soon now this is normally the point where i would say and here's all the things i think are wrong with this laser at this point you'll probably hear crickets the only thing i would possibly consider with this laser is uh, is maybe linear rails just to to improve potentially the the capability the reliability the speed now they do use those nylon rollers in here, but I just think linear rails are a little more production grade for, for high volume. Uh, and it, maybe we'll get that in the Algo Laser Gamma variant. Uh, you know, maybe there's a third generation coming. Um, but linear rails would be the only thing I could think of possibly putting in here. So if you do want to buy one of these Algo Laser Deltas, I'll put an affiliate link down below. And if you use that, you're certainly helping out the channel, which I appreciate. But as an added bonus, the first hundred people who use that link will also get a 400 by 400 millimeter honeycomb for free. We'll wind down here. I'll put a, another video up above, which maybe you should watch if you want to compare this laser to something else I've reviewed recently. And get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.